Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. About a year and a half ago, I reviewed a light called the Hudson Spider Redback. It was this uh, folding, unfolding, um, amazing new type of light made here in Los Angeles. It was very bright for the size it was. It was very versatile. It could take many different shapes and forms. And since I looked at it, it's kind of taken uh, the high end of the gaffer and film industry by storm. It's been used on Super Bowl commercials, uh, Marvel films, uh, Dick Cheney's Vice that Greg Frazier shot. One of the reasons it's so popular is that it's big enough to give a beautiful soft source, but it's light enough to be put out the window on a pole or put 40 feet in the air on the end of a boom. So you can get the brightness you need and the softness you need where you need it. Probably the most common reaction I got from the first video was that it was a very interesting type of light, but it was very expensive. The $7,000 plus dollar price range kind of put it above what most owner operators were going to spend on a single fixture. Hudson has just released the follow-up to the Redback. This is the Mozzie. This is the little brother. And Mozzie, if you don't know, is Australian slang for mosquito. This has six legs, not eight, much smaller than its big brother, the Redback. It's only about three pounds, um, folds up to something the size of a loaf of bread, and yet you can fold it out to a huge um, reflected uh, 200 watt light source. Because the power pack is smaller, it can be run from a single V-mount battery for up to three hours. And it has the same amazing uh, softbox with interchangeable diffusion as the Spider Redback. It has uh, this really fascinating accessory I hadn't really played with before or seen on other lights. What it does is add to the side of the softbox and really just cut out light from hitting the background without the need to use a grid, which reduces your level on the subject so much. It's really the same as placing a flag behind and above your source. So you flag off the background and the ceiling and reduce unwanted spill but you don't need an extra stand because it Velcros straight onto the softbox of the Mozzie. Tim and Sarah Hudson, who make the Mozzie and the Redback, have also come up with new ways to diffuse this light. This is a six foot silver reflective umbrella and by adding the umbrella holding attachment on the front of the unit, you can bounce this comparatively small Mozzie into the big six foot umbrella and get an amazing, specular, beautiful, soft source. It's made me want to experiment in all different types of ways of using this light. I'm actually using what I've dubbed sparkle mode right now. Um, what I did was put the light almost right in front of the camera and then fold up one of the legs here so that it's not in frame. But it gives me five other lights that are pretty much right in front of me. So this is a single source um, lighting setup. There's just one light here um, that's both giving me top, side, and upfill. And you get a really interesting sparkle in the eyes that doesn't look like a ring light, but gives the same beautiful overall effect. The price for this light is much more accessible for your owner operator cinematographer. The head itself is 2300 and the full kit is just over three grand. 1200 individual LEDs. It's bicolor, it's dimmable. Actually, I have the dimmer right here. Doing all the way from zero to one percent, all the way up to the surface of the sun, 200 watt brightness. Um, and it also goes between, you know, a nice warm 3000 and whatever this is, maybe seven, 8000 Kelvin. I do like that at 5600, it's bounced somewhere in between. So it has actually um, a nice warming uh, skin tone light to it. If you're looking for a key light that is very different, transportable, adaptable, and something that um, is being used by the top cinematographers and gaffers everywhere in the world, uh, definitely check out the Hudson Spider Mozzie. Leave your questions in the comments, uh, check the description for the link, and I will see you next time.